This lecture is about the brief introduction to human physiology. So physiology is the branch of biology. Biology is the study of living organisms. And the bio means living life and logic means study. So biology is the study of living organisms. And physiology is the sub-branch of the biology. So in physiology, basically we study about the function that occurs inside the living organism. So in physiology, we study about the normal function that occurs inside the living organism. And also the uh, processes and the normal functioning that occurs inside the living organism. So we study about the function uh, that make up the living body, the human body. There are the different organs that make up that are responsible for the formation of the human body. And these organs are the brain, heart, stomach, kidney, bladder, intestine, liver, lungs, and thyroid. As these organs collectively make up the human body. So in physiology, we study about the normal working, the normal functioning of each organ, that how these each individual organ perform their normal functions that are responsible for the normal healthy living of the human being. In, in physiology, we also study about the functions of the different organs and also study about the different functions of the various systems as these different organs combine together to form the combination of various systems. As these different systems, as the brain makes up the, uh, together with other organs from the nervous system, there is the respiratory system, circulatory system, digestive system, excretory system, muscular system, skeletal system, integumentary system, immune system, endocrine system, and reproductive system. So in physiology, we also study about the functions of each individual system, like how these systems perform their normal working and perform their normal functions that are responsible to sustain the normal life of the human being. And in this physiology, we also study about the different processes, means different mechanisms, like how the internal workings of organisms, that internal working means the human body is made up of organs and different systems. So how these organs and systems coordinate and work together to form the normal human being. So how these organs, different organs and these systems together perform the normal functions, internal working, but how these together perform the internal normal working, normal function for the human body. And we also study about the different processes that helps the human being to interact with the external environment. So there is also we study about the interaction with the environment. So there are specific mechanisms and processes involved in the human being that are responsible for to maintain the internal working and internal mechanism of the human body. And there are certain mechanisms and processes that are responsible for the human being to interact with the external environment or to adopt according to the external environment. So physiology is the uh, branch of the science or the branch of the biology is the most fascinating and ancient branch of the science. So physiology is fascinating because it has revealed the mysteries and the complicated functions for each individual organ of the human body. As we have seen that there are different organs that make up the systems and the systems together make up the human being. So these different organs of the physiology has revealed the functions for each specific organ. And for each organ, it has revealed the functions for each cell and for the each organ as how the different mechanisms and how the different organs perform their normal working. And they have revealed the different mysteries for the human body that how they normally perform their functions, that how they normally adopt in the uh, environment. And physiology is the most ancient branch of science, ancient because um, before like uh, 420 before Christ, uh, the human being even, uh, even does not know about the language, culture, and society. But the human knew about the hunger, thirst, pain, and fear. As in the hunger, we seek for the food. In the fear, we seek for the refugees. In the cold, we seek for the warmth. So all these mechanisms, like in the hunger, we seek for the food. In the fear, we seek for the uh, refugees. And in the cold, we seek for the warmth. So for all these mechanisms, there are certain physical and chemical factors involved in the human body. Are present in the human body that the chemical and physical factors, there are certain mechanisms that perform these functions. So there is cell signaling involved, different hormones involved, there are different factors that perform their functions. So these all basic mechanisms and processes are the basics of the physiology.